have a kiddo, can we collect a bunch of these? So we're gonna turn this into this. I sanded off the manufacturer's paint job on the lip of the box because if I tried to paint it, it didn't close smoothly. I cut strips of the decoupage paper the same width as the base of my Pokemon tin. The design is Made by Marley's Wood Avenue. I'll put a link to it in the description. Made by Marley decoupage paper is nice and thick so you don't need to paint underneath it, but I also like to use a nice and thick decoupage medium, so I'm using Mod Podge here. Make sure to dust your mold with a release of some sort. It helps the clay to lift out. Um, I usually use cornstarch, but I couldn't find it, so today I'm using baking powder. This right here is my favorite part of working with the molds. For this project, I'm using the IOD Birdsong mold and their air dry clay, which is so soft and easy to work with. I didn't get it on camera, but I glued down the birds with Aileen's Tacky Glue, and then I coated the entire lid with a coat of DIY Paint's White Swan. Because DIY Paint is a clay-based paint, it can be reactivated with water, so I just used a wet rag to clean up the plastic window. DIY Paint's Golden Ticket is a liquid patina, so it will seal your paint job, but it's also got this gorgeous shimmer to it. I used just a tiny bit of water to help me keep the gold spread evenly across the surface. I used my damp washcloth to dab at the surface to obscure any brush strokes, and I also used it to distress the edges a little bit. I made these cute note cards with my IOD Spriggs stamp, and now my Pokemon tin is going to be a cute little gift box.